A moment. Hour 36. Subject exhibiting a low-grade fever and elevated N-cell count. I will proceed to the second formula. Apologies for that, Agent. Bio-experiment logs wait for no man. Going to say what your experiment is about? Well, I told you about Project Protean and their research into alien genetics. I managed to gain access to one of their databanks. Nothing incriminating there, but I was impressed by their scientific data. I've been adapting it for my own studies into the Rak Ghoul virus. If you're running tests on yourself, you must be confident in the results. Sample assays can only tell one so much. I'm now in my second day incubating the modified virus. If it doesn't break down my cell structure entirely, I should emerge... revivified. You become a stronger, faster man-eater? More important, the change itself will be less taxing. It's not unpleasant, as is. But it leaves me with a tremendous headache. Now, if you'll excuse me, this fever is becoming distressing. We have news, Agent. We've been conferring lately with the Ambassadors, Moffs, Speakers for the Sith, all with their own agendas and concerns, none with any love for the Kilix. But we swayed a few and found ways around others. Now the diplomatic service has agreed to seek a treaty. An alliance with the Killick colony. It's what you've been wanting. What we've been working toward together. Some of the nests are still reluctant, Horro and Manam in particular, but all parties involved have agreed to a summit. We'll preside over the negotiations ourselves. I'm at your disposal. I want this to work. So do we. Thank you, Agent. Imagine. Colony and Imperial representatives in one room. It shall be interesting. My body requires improvement. You will provide a workshop and equipment aboard your ship. Why would I help you improve yourself when you plan to kill me? Until I am free, you rely on me to defend you. My optimization should be your goal. When I protected Mega Security Ward 23, Belsifus Prison served as an extension of my immobile body. Now I must adapt for independent operation. This frame will be upgraded with physical enhancements, along with updated behavioral analysis capabilities and social programming. Isn't changing your own software risky? I am designed to iterate on functionality. I find the hunter-prey dynamic that suffice on Bill Savis less useful in a broader galactic environment. I now require social and physical flexibility. You understand. You're growing as a person. Yes. My repertoire of effective interactions will increase. My appreciation for your species will not. I will proceed with the upgrades. I only asked as a courtesy. I have been dissecting the droids and cyborgs we encounter during travel. They have proven adequate base resources to improve my chassis and power supply. Phase one of my upgrade is complete. I assume there's a phase two? Yes. Synthesis. I must recompile my secondary programs to integrate recorded experience into my new iteration. I will learn from everything we've done. Feel privileged. You're about to witness my personal evolution. It's kind of you to share the moment with me. I agree. Thank you for understanding. Upload initiated. Ah! A primitive vessel has insufficient power and storage capacity. I cannot complete the process. Why do you need more power and storage capacity? Recompiling programs is an intensive process. It requires data storage beyond what my body can supply and systems capable of processing that data. I will identify a solution. Self-improvement and intelligence upgrades are my primary purpose. And you will not stand in my way.
blasted. You know what today is? Today is the day I've worked with you longer than any of my exes. Don't tell me you missed your chance to escape. Normally at this point I'd skip out and go con someone new. But you've got me so freaking out of practice it's not worth the bother. So I'll make you a deal. I'll stick with you, you keep me comfortable. I can live with this setup. I can agree to that, Kalia. Tell you what, I'll make it easier to live with. I've given up teaching you anything, but we ever get someone new? I'll show them the ancient blood traditions of rat attack, and maybe how to down a Rodian ale without puking. Greetings, Master. You're looking fit and deadly, as always. I've been monitoring Chiss Defense Force frequencies, tracking ship movements in the rim. Nothing extraordinary, but I'd like your permission to investigate if something comes up, assuming you trust me solo. You wouldn't be here if I couldn't count on you. Put your training to good use. Thank you, sir. I'll let you know if anything comes up. Yes, Ensign? Sir, there's something you should know. I've been scanning Chiss frequencies, passing the time, checking low security reports. An old associate left this message where he knew I could find it. It's a hologram that Chiss intercepted from Karaban. Play the message, please. I have received the fugitive's location. Even he could not run forever. We must now find the force sensitive he hid from us. Intelligence need no longer be involved. I will make Cypher 3 pay for his defiance myself. I'm sorry, sir. If I knew this would be an issue, I would have told you earlier. Cypher 3 is my father. The Force Sensitive his hiding is me. Do the Sith know of your relationship? No. My father took precautions. He changed records, birth dates, even my name. The Sith will do worse than kill him. Torture, public display. He can't go through that. Not for me. If you have a solution, I'm listening. I can find my father before Lord Durok does. There are coordinates in the message. With your permission. I can give him her quick death. He saved your life. The least you can do is help him. I can't. I have to be better than him. I have to do my duty. I won't be gone long. Besides, if I don't do something, your security could be compromised. All right, go if you must, but don't make any decisions until you've found your father. We'll see. Thank you. It's done. I'm back. I found Cypher 3. I found my father. And I executed him, so the Sith couldn't. He said he understood. I wish there had been a way to spare him. Don't apologize. He was a criminal, and we did our duty. But he was hunted down and punished for keeping me a secret. Real justice would be turning myself into the Sith. What's done is done. Martyring yourself won't change it. No, and I don't want to die. Not on Karaban. I'm grateful for your help. We did the proper thing.
destination. Now we know how others feel when intelligence shows up unannounced. Failure and disobedience are one and the same. My lord, I tried. In the Sith tongue, both translate as treason. That is the wisdom of the ancients. Put Watcher 3 down. The Cypher Agent. You defeated the traitor Jadis and the fools in the SIS. My masters acknowledge your service. But you serve intelligence no longer. By order of the Dark Council, operations division is dissolved. Personnel will be reassigned to wartime units or to deserving Sith Lords. With due respect, operations is needed now more than ever. Yes, it is. The war does not go well, whatever the official word. The Ministry of War must have resources, and intelligence fails to do its part. We hear rumors of corruption and treason. Agents wasted chasing conspiracies. A brain-dead keeper. Time to butcher the beast for its meat. I won't argue the point. What happens next? You take on your new role. Ship secure, my lord. We found the alien outside a cantina. I was on a break. What's the deal? Intelligence may overlook her past, but she is an anarchist and an enemy of the Empire. She will be interrogated and judged. I will kill you. You get that? I will kill you! Kaleo's service has been exemplary, and we've put far worse on the payroll. The decision was not mine. Unless you intend to slaughter the entire Citadel, do not test me. You and I both know what this is about. You want my team at half strength, fine, but don't take her. You have no one I want. They can't hold you, you're too good for that. Wait for an opportunity. These people are dead, and when I'm through with them, you and me are gonna finish this! I swear! The rest of your team can remain intact. As for you, by special request of the Minister of Intelligence, you are being transferred to my brigade on the Corellian front lines. Together, we will drown the Republic in blood. I'm so sorry, sir. You will know your assignments. Get moving.
destination. Enjoy your stay. Begin message. Ugh. I warned you what would happen, but you couldn't stay away from Voss. You had to make waves, kill our special Gormak friend. Now the boats are in, and you see the consequences of drawing their attention. The gift is for you. I can't protect you anymore. Who'd have thought the Stark Abal was so sentimental? Maybe if intelligence had nurtured our agents more, we'd still be around. We'll talk to our contacts in the diplomatic service. We'll talk to the Nest. We'll talk to House Thull. We'll find support. Frankly, it's hard to imagine intelligence being gone. We may have lost operations, but we know more about the Stark Cabal than anyone. They're scared. They acknowledge our existence. Believe me, I want them exterminated too, but let's not overstate our position. I thought you were the optimistic one. Then we really need to spend more time together. He shows his bitterness. It will become a tactical vulnerability. What I'd like to know is, what's your plan now? Someone wants us on the front lines of Corellia, likely as a trap. I intend to find out why and follow the answer to our enemy. Onward then, into the Maw of the Dragon. You have my full support. Let's hope the Force favors the bold. Agent, you can bear witness. Dr. Lokin has agreed to hike Cass Falls with us if we visit the Cass City Opera. Vector's musical tastes are, frankly, unsophisticated. I'm only trying to help. Then we have a deal. Well, that can wait. 
Right now, there's something the three of us must discuss. I think you've got our attention. As you are both aware, I've been investigating Project Protean, an off-the-books division of the Imperial Science Bureau. The people who want you dead? Precisely. Their research is focused on human-alien genetic splicing. I've studied their files, along with your own physiology, Master Vector, and I've come to a conclusion. Project Protean arranged your meeting with the Killix so they could study the joining. Vector was working for the diplomatic service, not the Science Bureau. Protean is well-funded, perfectly able to trade favors with Vector's old superiors. That part doesn't surprise us. For what it's worth, I don't believe it was personal. They wanted a test subject, and you were on Alderaan already. If this is real, what does it mean for Vector and the rest of us? They have files on the Killix. Ways to hurt joiners or to heal them. They may have altered Vector or simply observed him. I consider it our obligation to find Project Protean and end them. For Vector's sake as well as mine. If there are answers, we'll find them there. Indeed. If you'll excuse us, we'd like to commune with the Hive. You don't want my advice, but I'll give it anyway. Vector knows who he is. Give him time to be sure of it. Agent, we've been speaking to the Nests in preparation for the Killick Imperial Summit. They're so much in tune with their biology. The Colossaloc are warriors as large as houses, and they're convinced the Empire should be crushed. But the Saras are weavers and shapers, and they're eager to trade. You're all one species, aren't you? How can that much biological diversity be possible? From the beginning, there was the joining, and that links us, even as our bodies evolve over millennia. Of course, that's just what our memories tell us. The colony has never specialized in scientific research. We should return to our preparations. We'll talk later. I have fully processed the error I experienced during my upgrade. I require outside power and storage capacity. A cocoon for my metamorphosis, so that I may evolve. You said my ship wasn't enough. Have you found another resource? Although neither my body nor your vessel is sufficient to my needs, you have encountered an adequate facility. Give me full access to your ship and security codes, and I will upload my consciousness into the Imperial Archives. You really believe you need to do this? I have seen a great deal since leaving Mega Security Ward 23. If I can't adapt to what I experience, then it all becomes meaningless. I will begin preparations. The next time we speak, I will be ready to upload. Dr. Loken was just telling me stories about my father from his intelligence days. All lies, I think, but that's all right. What would you say if I brought some personal items on board? I haven't played the Melodium for years, but lately I've had the urge. You sound more upbeat than last time we talked. We do difficult things for the Empire, I know that. But I did realize, maybe it's time I stop spending all day, every day, on duty. The 14-hour shift is enough. Corellia Control to unregistered vessel. Hold for Captain Trage. Another ex-intelligence agent, eh? Welcome to the military. According to your transfer forms, you've been assigned the rank of lieutenant and placed in Lord Razor's brigade. I haven't been briefed. What's the state of the planet? The advantage is ours. 
that this is a Republic core world. It'll be street by street fighting until the end. Report to Lord Razor's briefing room. Operations begin immediately. And don't expect the flexibility your former career may have offered you. This is war, and discipline is the key to victory. Not an auspicious beginning, is it? The Empire's top operative arrives, just as expected. Welcome to Corellia. I am Lord Ferris, here to make a request on behalf of my master. Darth Decimus of the Dark Council has taken interest in your actions and desires your assistance in the battle for Corellia. If you have something to say, say it. Our invasion of Corellia was executed to perfection. But the ensuing occupation has met... difficulties. Darth Decimus believes you can help. If you're interested, Seek out his servant, Darth Charnas. He will set you on the path. Whatever you say. Do not risk angering Darth Decimus. Darth Charnas's ship, the Tears of Taris, is on Corellia now. visit the Republic Core Worlds. We certainly never thought we'd fight here. <laughs> 